Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome to Webinar Wednesday. Today's session, 2012 NFLC's Igniting Innovation, will offer a preview of the 2012 National Fall Leadership Conferences. My name is Donnie Aorio, and I am the PBL National President. I will serve as today's moderator. Speaking today from the National Center is Richard Bowen, Conference Director. We are here to give you the inside scoop on preparing for the NFLC's and why it's so important for you to attend them. We encourage that you submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We'll go over any questions at the end of this presentation. Once again, don't feel scared to ask any questions. The toolbar is at the top right of your screen. As a reminder, we are recording this webinar, and it will be available for download on the national website in the advisors only area. Now I'd like to introduce Richard Bowen, who is the conference director at FBLA PBL. Richard? Good afternoon. This fall, NFLC is coming up for uh, igniting your leadership skills and preparing for your spring competitions. As you can see by the preliminary schedule, the NFLCs are a short conference packed with a day and a half of workshops offering multiple opportunities to attend per hour, covering such subjects as business, career development, communications, FBLA PVL programs, finance, information technology, and leadership. Workshops are offered specifically for advisors, members, and where applicable shared audiences. The conference is also a great opportunity to network with other chapters from your state and also from across the nation. The complete NFLC guide is available to download on our website. Now here's Donnie to share some information regarding our keynotes. Thanks, Richard. We have a great lineup of keynote speakers for our NFLCs. Ryan Morin will be doing keynotes at all three of the conferences, Al Duncan at the Indianapolis and Denver conferences, and Vicki Roundtree in Charlotte. Ryan Morin will take you on a wild filled ride with humor, heart, and character, while also teaching you about finding your own gifts and talents, not fearing the unknown, and the difference that just one student can make. Al Duncan is an advocate, publisher, and internationally recognized authority on soft skills. He is the recipient of the President's Call to Service Award and the National PTA Achievement Award for his work in the field of youth development and empowerment. Finally, Vicki Roundtree is a certified coach, trainer, and speaker. Her goal-oriented outlook on life and passion for helping others led her to form Roundtree Coaching and Training, where she's able to equip her clients with what they become successful leaders by helping them maximize their life to the highest potential. Check out their own websites for more information. Richard, back to you. Don't forget that we have deadlines coming soon for each of the three conference locations. If you want to save big on your conference registration fees, then October 10th, 17th, and 24th are dates to remember. This is when the early bird conference registration fees will end. Hotel reservations should be made as soon as possible. Space fills fast as the conferences approach, so get your reservations in today. Reservation forms are available on our website. All three NFLCs share a reservation form. Select the location you're attending and send your completed form to the conference hotel. Housing deadlines for Indianapolis, JW Marriott, October 10th. Denver, Sheridan Downtown Denver, is October 17th. And Charlotte, the Westin, October 24th. Guest rooms are available on a first-come, first-serve option, so make your reservations early. Please note that after these cutoff dates, rooms may not be available. Each location offers great, reasonable dining options. In Indianapolis, the City Center Mall has a food court and restaurants nearby. 
In Denver, the 16th Street Mall offers free transportation up and down the street and many restaurants and food courts. And Charlotte offers a selection of restaurants and shops at the epicenter. Check them out in advance so you can take advantage of inexpensive dining while at the conference. Discounted airport transportation is available for the NFLCs. Indianapolis's shuttle is Indigo's. Route 8 provides great service from the airport to downtown Indianapolis. Single rides are just $195, I'm sorry, $175, an economical choice for your travel needs. For more information, you can call 317-635-3344 or go to their website at www.indigo.net. Denver's uh, shuttle service is Super Shuttle. It offers airport shuttle service from the Denver airport to the Sheridan Denver downtown. The discounted rate of $19 is a round trip discount per person and is valid only online. Charlotte's service is Queen City Shuttle LLC and offers airport shuttle service from the Charlotte airport to the Westin Charlotte Hotel. The rate is $22 round trip each person or $15 each way. Complete information avail is available on our website. The March of Dimes Blue Jeans A Dance fundraiser will be um, held at each of the conferences on the Saturday evenings from 9 to 11. And don't forget to bring your donation for this great cause. Now back to Donnie, who has more information about each of the NFLC locations. Thanks, Richard. Indianapolis will host the first of our three NFLCs. The city truly is home to innovation. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway hosted the first Indianapolis 500-mile race on its 2.5-mile track on May 30, 1911, just two years after it opened. Equipped to seat an audience of more than 250,000, the Speedway is the world's largest spectator sporting arena. Museums, history, and fabulous food, these are plenty of reasons to come and visit Indianapolis. The set NFLC location is in Denver, Colorado. And yes, Denver truly is one mile high. The 15th step of the west side of the state capitol building is 5,280 feet, or for you metric junkies, 1,609 meters above sea level. Some other fun facts about Denver. In 1935, Louis Basilet melted a slice of cheese on a hamburger at his Denver Humpty Dumpty driving restaurant and then therefore the invention of the world's first cheeseburger. Denver is also one of the few cities in history that was not on a road, lake, railroad, or navigable river or body of water when it was founded. Denver just happened to be where one of the few, few first flakes of gold were found in 1858, and it is here where the first camp was made. Finally, on to Charlotte for our third and final National Ball Leadership Conference. Charlotte is the second largest financial center in the United States, with some of the nation's largest banks calling Charlotte their home, such as Bank of America and Wells Fargo, making this a perfect location for any FBLA PBL event. 365 of Fortune's top 500 companies take advantage of the city's pro-business environment. The region is home to 37 institutions of higher learning, with 50 campuses providing academic expertise and excellence in training Charlotte is the site of the NASCAR Hall of Fame due to its rich racing heritage. And also, the conference center is only five minutes from where I grew up. We're really looking forward to welcome you here in Charlotte and show you all a little bit of true Southern hospitality. At the conference in Charlotte, a special program is available for FBLA middle level members. The Middle Level Academy features a day-long specialty track designed for our FBLA middle level opportunity to network with other FBLA middle level members during this exciting program. At each NFLC location, there will also be PBL-centered workshops for our collegiate students. Check out our website for more information at www.fbla-pbl.org. Last but not least, a few housekeeping notes. Please remember that the NFLC's attendees are required to be in business attire throughout the entire this is applied to advisors as well as students. The only exception is the March of Dimes Blue Jeans for Babies dance 
which will be held at the end of each conference, Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Just to clarify, open toe shoes and slingbacks are allowed, but flip-flops and bare feet are not. So ladies, please don't be a slave to fashion. Buy comfortable dress shoes that you can bear to wear throughout the entire day. At this time, we'd like to answer any questions that have been submitted throughout the presentation. It's not too late to submit a question. Just use the GoToWebinar toolbar in the top right-hand corner of your screen. The first question is from Mike. He's a high school advisor from Pennsylvania, and he has a question for Richard regarding uh, the Indianapolis Go uh, service. You said it was $1.75. Is that $1.75? Yes, that's correct, $1.75. That's really I can do. That's great. Yeah, it's a so, great price. Absolutely. Um, the next question is from Joe. He's a North Carolina PBL student, and um, he'd like to know, is it required that PBL students bring an advisor with them to any of the NFLCs? And for PBL students, um, that is not required. Um, some chapters uh, will come as a whole and um, come with their advisors, and others are much smaller in attendance and just come as the students. Great, great. Um, it's always great to have the advisors there, too, but we, we definitely understand that for PBL. Um, also, Ms. Barosik, a high school advisor in California, wants to know why is it really beneficial for a chapter to be going to a national fall leadership conference as opposed to one of their state fall leadership conferences or just hold it out until our summer conference in Anaheim? We try to offer a little bit different mix of um, content for our NFLCs and also to prepare the states uh, for going to the summer conference and their state conferences. So it's a good way to get out and mingle with the other people. Um, kind of puts you out there where you're not just with your state conference. So this is another venue to help them with their um, you know, process of getting ready for the summer in the national conference. Great. I have another conference from Ms. Fuller, a high school advisor in Florida, wanting to know if we'll have general sessions much like we do at the national leadership conference. Yes, for the NFLCs, there will be an opening session on the Friday evening. That's from 9 till 10.15 approximately. And then the closing session is held on the Saturday from 5 to 6.15 approximately. Great. Also, we have another question coming in. Before we get there, I'd like to uh, stress again, you can ask any question. Uh, just make sure you input it in the GoToWebinar toolbar in the top right of your screen. The next question is from Megan, who is a PBL student in South Carolina. She'd like to know what actually happens at these conferences besides uh, the opening and closing session. Well, for PBL members, we do have reserved seating up in the general sessions um, right near the stage. Um, so that is available for them to get front row uh, right up there for those sessions. And then there are specific workshops available on the Friday and Saturday for um, the PBL members. So these are geared towards their um, uh, PBL, the PBL members itself. Great. Let's break one minute just to see if any more questions come in, and then after that we'll continue on. So once again, if you have any other questions, feel free to post them in the top right-hand corner of your screen. There should be a toolbar. So we'll break for another 40 seconds or so. While we're breaking, let me stress our social media outlets and hoping that you're following and interacting with us on them. Um, we have a great Facebook network of PBL students as well as FBLA students. Uh, that are interacting as well as advisors talking about what works and what doesn't work and any ideas they have for the local chapters, you can join that conversation at facebook.com slash future business leaders. You can also follow us on Twitter. All three divisions have their own Twitter ha um, handles. FBLA's is FBLA underscore national. PBL's is PBL underscore national. And we'd love to have you tweet anything that your chapter's doing. Go ahead and shoot a tweet at us and we'll retweet you. Re retweet you. Also, check out our YouTube channel to find some of the coolest things that FBLA PBL are doing, including officer updates, which are broadcasted live, and then put, it, put on our YouTube channel for you to view. That's youtube.com slash FBLA PBL Inc. And finally, our newest social media outlet, check out our Flickr. That's flickr.com slash photos slash FBLA dash PBL. All right, it looks like we don't have any more questions. And it's actually all that we have time for today. Don't miss our next webinar scheduled for November 14th. 
Lisa Smothers, our membership director, will give a step-by-step -step tutorial on the BAA and CMAP programs. You can now register for this webinar by going to the national homepage. Check your email updates for our December webinar involving the professionals. Brad Howard, your professional division national president, will share you some, with you some very helpful tips on how to get your chapter more involved with the professional members in your area. And in January, we invite you to attend a recruitment refresher to help you get your mid-year numbers up. All right, I'd like to thank each of you for your participation today. Goodbye for now, and I hope that you have a great week. I'll be seeing most of you in November.